Hey guys, what's going on? Jonathan Perez here from SurefireWebServices.com and today I want to show you how to actually create a home page. Um, I'm using the Genesis framework and I'm going to be using the Agency Pro theme. So you could totally see that it's completely different than the actual Agency Pro theme. Um, and I just want to show you pretty much how to lay this out. I did a quick design in Photoshop very different from what you see on the Agency Pro and I'll just show you this real quick so you have the header I have one two three four different sections that I want to create and we're gonna do this by actually just adding a few widget areas actually there's a few different ways we can do this with the Genesis framework probably the code friendly way would be to do it with the widget areas but I actually want to show you uh, another way to do it and that's with the plugin and I want you guys to to know that plugins are here to help us <laughs> you know we don't always have to code everything from scratch and uh, the good thing about this plugin is it's free and it's pretty much gonna lay out the home page how you would um, just adding widget areas and I'll do it both ways um, right now I'll do the plugin way and then I'll get into the code probably in the next video. Now, I'm not going to actually build the whole thing out. This is really just to kind of show you how this works. So I'm already logged in. This is the Getting to 30K site, which is going to be a membership site for those who haven't heard yet. So if I go to Plugins, I'm just going to add a new plugin. And this plugin is called Page Builder. Page Builder. It's a free plugin. It's really simple. It's really awesome. So, Page Builder by Site Origin and Greg Prede. Let's activate that. Now, all I really did beforehand was I went into Settings Reading and I just made the home page this front page called Test. I mean, obviously, I'm going to change it in the future. Um, but that's really it. So that's why there's nothing on it and it just has the title. So let me go to the home page, the page called test, which I'll just do a quick search because I have quite a few pages here. Okay, here we go. All right. So now we have visual text and we have page builder. Now with the Genesis framework, what we would essentially do is we'd go into the functions file or we would go into the front page.php and then we would start adding widget areas like we would say okay make this a full width and then add a widget area on top then add something else below that etc 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 and you basically keep doing that and what that does is when you go into appearance widgets you take a widget and you put it in the place that you want the cool thing about page builder is it does pretty much the same exact thing without having to touch the front page or the functions file and not only that but you could do it on any page it doesn't even have to be the home page so just to give you an idea of how this works this would be the page builder and this would be my first um, let's widget area let's say you could add a widget or add a row I'm going to add based on design one two three four rows so let's add a one row column after that actually this could be two so we have one then two columns then three columns then one column so let's get rid of that so one two columns and then I can adjust the width All right oops not yet one with three columns add and then uh, I keep doing that sorry <laughs> and then one with just one column right sorry right. so this is my home page layout already now up here I'm just gonna add some text so now we can go to add text or add a widget and I'm just gonna add the text widget if I can find it uh, text widget and then you just put in your stuff so the title would be the goal is to make 30k in one year I'll show you how I did it in seven months 
right? The goal is to make 30k in one year. Then this will be, I'll show you how I did it in seven months. And this is the text widget. So obviously, I can add code, like if I want this bold. You know, it's not going to break anything. So you just treat this exactly how you would treat the widgets, which is exactly what the is what you would do if you were creating a home page anyway. So I have that. Then here I would add a picture, which I don't have yet, but I would just add another text widget. Uh, let's see. More text widgets. So this is just a lot of styling. This I have one, two, three. So I could do, uh, let's say, a featured post or a featured page. So we have pages. Um, post content. Display some post content. Post loop. Or if I want to display a loop of posts. What else do I have here? Price box. List. Genesis featured. Genesis featured page. Let's do the featured page. Yeah, you widget. What page do I want to uh, add here? I don't know. Let's do an interview with Kim Doyle. Show the featured image. Keep the thumbnail. Alignment center. Show the page title. Show the page content, but only show 100 characters. Read more. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's an image there. But. So interview. Actually, let's just call it the journey. The journey. Okay, done. And then I would do that with each of these and so on and so on. So now if I update this. And then I go to my home page. Here I have everything that I put in. I mean, it's not styled, granted. I would use a title toggle for this, which is a plugin also, or I could just put in, you know, remove action, Genesis do title. Uh, let's see, this is the headline, this is the subline, the journey, this would be section one, then I could pretty much style everything. And if you want to take a look at the code, inspect element, let's move this up so you can see it. Now I have my classes here. So everything's a panel. So this is the entry content. Now I have panel grid with the ID, panel grid cell with the ID, panel widget, blah, 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 HU class. So I would essentially style this right here. Now the only thing, the only limitation to this, and I wouldn't really call it a limitation, um, is I don't have much control over the classes. Uh, for instance, if I did the widget, I can make my widget 100% and then just have the top section with a wrap that's going to keep it within the width of the site. Doing it with the plugin, I can't really do that because entry content is the width of the site. Unless I specifically made a class for home entry content 100%, but then I would have to make sure that these would get wrapped in and uh, let's see if I could even do that. If I go to switch to editor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess technically I still could do that. But I don't know if I'd be able to go back and forth with the, uh, what you call it. Oh, pre-built layouts. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Um, this is probably the easiest way to do things. Once I make this 100%, all I have to do is make panel grid similar to my wrap class, which it seems to be the same exact way. So in the style sheet, just to show you real quick, appearance editor, uh, yeah, leave the page. See I'm in my agency pro theme. Do I have a class of wrap? Site editor wrap. Marginal. So then here I would just do panel grid keep that there and then what else and then keep entry content 100% so let's look for whoops entry content entry content code entry content button oh, there's no actual featured content okay 
Eh, where would we put it? I'll just put it right here. So, home, entry, content, with 100% update, refresh, let's see what we got here, no, that did not work, because uh, we have site in there. All right, and site container. Okay, well, this is not the sandbox team. <laughs> so whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Site container. So site inner then would change. Not a big deal. Two second change. Ready? Home. Site inner, and we're gonna get the same exact results. Unless I just spelled it wrong. No, I didn't. Refresh. Site inner. Still not working. Okay. Well, clearly, I mean, let's get rid of this. There we go. So now site in is 100%. Then I would have to get panel grid. Oh, geez, now everything is 100%. I mean, you get the point. Div enter panel grid. Panel dash grid. That's why. Oops. Panel dash grid. Clearly, I'm doing this on the whim. <laughs> but there you go. Now you have the same results. This is your technically your wrap, and your site inner is 100%. After I got rid of this, and then you can get the same results. But regardless, that's the only downfall that I see of this. Um, other than that, I mean, you could literally lay out your home page however you want. Just uh, be weary of the background 100% images. All right, that's it. The next video, I'm actually going to build this out. So I'll show you um, how to actually do it within the Genesis framework. For now, I kind of just wanted to showcase Page Builder because this is a really cool plugin and it'll essentially do the same thing in half the time. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.